Hi, my name is Laura and I'm going to do a quick review of this project that uses data binding airports, layouts, and some interaction. Hopefully, by the end, you'll have enough to start experimenting and building your own thing. Okay, let's start by creating a new view model. I'll call it sample and add an artboard property. Now let's create a new artboard and bind it to sample view model. Inside of this artboard, I'll add an instance of a component. For this example, I'll choose the red one. I wanted to use it in layout mode, wrap it in another layout, and set that layout to fill. The artboard itself will be set to hug. OK, now let's find the artboard property. With the instance selected, go to the left panel, right click, and choose data bind. Then select the left property from the sample view model. If you check the view model now, there's probably nothing assigned yet. So I'll assign it to red. That way, what you see matches the value. If I hit play and change these values, you'll see the updates happen in real time. Now let's add some interaction. With the left layout selected, I add a listener with pointer enter. In the bottom panel, I can set the left artboard property from the sample view model. I'll change its value to another artboard, in this case, the yellow one. So now, when the cursor enters the area, the instance switches to yellow. At the moment, it stays yellow, but I also wanted to switch it back. So, with the left layout still selected, I'll add another listener with pointer exit. This time, I'll set the value back to red. Now, you can see it working. Hover in, it changes to yellow. Hover out, it switches back to red. Next, I duplicate this layout and add more action. So I'll change the duplicate to a right. For this, we'll need to create another artboard property in the view model, and I call it right. Then we just rebind and assign this new property. The rest is the same as we did before. Add a listener with pointer enter, change the value of the artboard property, and with the same layout selected, add another listener with pointer exit, and change the value back. Well, that's it for the first part of the tutorial. Stay tuned for the next one, the project review. See you soon.